You're hanging with your crew, she's prepping for step two. Uh-oh, it's Debbie Doctor. Always there to tell you about zoonoses. Viral meningitis or aggressive scabies. You'll beg her to spare you, Debbie, please. But you can't stop Debbie Doctor. Guys, can you believe that we're going to be actual doctors soon? I know, I can't wait. But I'm going to miss medical school and all the great friends I made. Maroon, you're the best. Oh look, a fuzzy little cottontail. Oh my god, I love bunnies. My aunt and uncle used to have a farm with them when I would visit as a kid. Those bunnies were some of my best friends ever. Keep your distance, guys. As rabbits are known to be the number one carrier of Francisella tularemia, a bacteria that can cause pulmonic hemorrhaging and death by asphyxiation. <laughs> Quit picking on rabbits, Debbie. They're not the only animals that cause disease. True. But not for long. It's unlikely small land mammals will survive the coming ice age brought on by global warming. Okay, Debbie. Gosh, we'll stay away from the cute little bunny. I'm not even sure distance will keep us safe. As the bacteria has been known to go airborne, there was an outbreak on a farm in Oklahoma where an infected rabbit was run over by a lawnmower. Jeez, Debbie. And its remains were aerosolized into a fine crimson mist. Oh, look, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, I love hookah. What flavor should we get? Apple. Cherry. <laughs> Did you guys know one hookah session is the equivalent of a hundred cigarettes? Nuh uh. Indeed. And with the growing popularity of hookah in the Middle East, the incidence of lung cancer has increased fivefold. No way. According to the World Health Organization, anyway. Anyway, Sarah, how was your date last night? Great enough to warrant a good night makeout session. Boom. Sounds scandalous. I hope you use protection. Debbie, we didn't have sex. All the same, you're six times more likely to contract syphilis in densely populated urban centers like this one. That can't be true. And five times more likely to contract HIV. Debbie, you just love statistics. Humans aren't the only ones in danger. Feline HIV is the number one killer of domestic cats. Are we gonna like this hookah or what? Guys, I usually love hookah, but you're gonna have to blow that away from me on account of the bun in the oven. No problem. When's the little guy due? Nine and a half weeks. Oh, third trimester. Has your doctor been screening your urine for protein to check for preeclampsia? Yes, Debbie. I've been getting all the regular tests one gets when they're pregnant. Does that include psychiatric visits since one in five mothers is affected by postpartum depression? Really? Yes. My suspicion is it comes from the guilt of bringing another human into a world already plagued by overpopulation. I had no idea. I'm glad dudes don't have to worry about that. Only slightly true. As a future physician, your biggest risk will be crippling depression. Did you know medicine just overtook dentistry as the profession with the highest rate of suicide? Debbie, when we hang out, you are not allowed to wear your white coat. That's probably a good idea.